Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Let's try this one again. Today is the day that we expect the Max 89 rated World Cup Hero Pack. I want to talk about why it actually didn't drop yesterday because there's an SBC that is still available right now that is preventing the Max 89 Hero from being dropped, in my opinion. We're going to take a look at that because that SBC expires today, which is why we think the Hero Pack actually should be today. And we'll talk about a pack that is now available via the swaps grind because EA finally dropped some more swap tokens so we can get that 84 times 60 pack with all the tokens that's putting some of the grind back into place and a lot of people are going to be getting that pack in the following days which could mean a little bit for the fodder market we'll talk about that and of course the market in general right now continues to just be a very weird place right the path of glory cards continue to go up the world cup heroes continue to fluctuate but most things other than that are really stagnant and that's just because the elephant in the room black friday is still on the horizon so i want to take a look at that and also a little sneaky thing that ea did yesterday changing the amount of time that path to glories and the world cup heroes are in packs very sneaky not a big fan but we'll take a look at all that more in today's video if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new now let's talk about this hero pack because we were all set on it dropping yesterday and it didn't drop instead we had the 86 plus team week upgrade which was added to the code at the exact same time as the hero pack was now there's a reason why we didn't get the hero pack yesterday and i noticed it yesterday right around the content time and it clicked the reason why we didn't get that pack yesterday is because we still have the base icon upgrade available out for 15 hours and right we've never had any of these big upgrade packs coincide together on the game this year they've either been out once at a time then the one expires and then the next one comes in so i think that of course especially since we had the 86 team of the week yesterday we're gonna have this sbc expiring and then the 89 max hero that everybody's still looking forward to is gonna drop on the game today so we should see some hype and some movement still around the hero cards today now the hero cards as they sit on the market i'll talk about fodder in a second as well but the hero cards as they sit a lot of them had a couple fluctuations up yesterday, like the biggest fluctuation was Alawarian. He went from 640k up to 700,000 coins when the pack was not released and it was not on the game. Right now he's back to 660, but there could be a little bit more sell-off on some of the heroes today because I think people are now expecting it to be delayed. And it's, if it's not today, then then EA's got something crazy up their sleeve and they've got something else planned and they're trying to do make the market move in a weird way at some later point this week or something. But it just would make sense for the SBC to drop today as well if you think about it. Thursday, Friday, pre-Black Friday and the Black Friday promo. EA, just like they did before the World Cup promo, could take this opportunity to try to drain some coins before they get you to open packs this weekend, right? That's the way they're going to think through it. And that's why I think, again, if that SBC doesn't drop today, I'll be shocked. But hey, who knows? It's EA. They've been doing some EA things recently with the content. So we'll just have to see. But the hero cards are just kind of chilling. I'd be careful with those today. Honestly, with the way that the market is right now, right? I said it's kind of like the elephant in the room is that Black Friday is still on the horizon. And every day that we get closer to Black Friday, I can't believe that less and less people are talking about Black Friday. Like I have not seen a lot of panic or people like worried about it i mean yes there it's in our mind but like at this point usually with black friday that's all we've been talking about for like the past two weeks but this year with the world cup co going on it's kind of overshadowing that whole situation we've already had a big market crash so it's kind of like all right now we're just waiting for what to, uh, what we're going to see is going to come out because in theory it's a way different Black Friday than ever. So that's still impacting the market, which is why I'm being very careful of what I trade with. And still, I think that if you're in this market right now and you have gold cards, I don't like golds. I really don't. Again, this Black Friday promo is all about supply. So as you see, Mbappe is still in his low range, still fluctuating a bit, but kind of low. Uh, Neymar still under 300,000 coins. Van Dijk, 140 you know, Messi 110k. I would just be careful with these guys, really. Like, I would not hold any of these cards that are still gold cards that are not fodder. Um, I, I wouldn't hold any of them, honestly. Especially a gold Kyle Walker that's going to be coming back into packs this weekend uh, or this Thursday, right? I would take the cash on a lot of gold cards uh, and then look for a lower entry point probably on Thursday night, Friday morning. We'll keep a close eye on that situation, especially for a guy like Mbappe or maybe Neymar, who is a still a very meta gold card that people might want for their teams. Now, let's talk fodder, because fodder is going to get supplied a lot this weekend as well. But even before that, today on Tuesday, with the Icon, sorry, with the uh, World Cup Hero Pack coming back, 
fodder is still kind of up yesterday when we didn't actually see the pack drop i think fodder had a quick dip um like there was a little bit of a dip on fodder but then it kind of rose right back up as people bought back in i would say this whatever pack drops today or whatever the price of the pack is when it drops today um i would look to get your fodder out by friday and honestly yeah definitely by friday maybe thursday after rewards you could see a bit of an uptick in fodder if uh, people are getting their rivals rewards going out and doing the um, max 89 world cup hero sbc after it drops today so i would say there's a potential for that but by the time we get to friday is the closer that we get i think people are going to start to sell off these cards expecting big supply with lightning rounds with packs flash sbcs so with that in mind i would probably try to get out of the fodder that you um invested in in the next couple of days not saying you have to sell it today right when the sbc comes out because again i still i still say and i still think that if they make this sbc a little bit too expensive today fodder might not go up because it is very invested and a lot of people have are investing in this fodder and hoping that it will go up but again like i said we just need a really good value pack which ea could drop but that would not make fodder all of it go up if it's a really good value right it's only going to make it go up in specific areas depending on what they require so that's what i would say just be very very careful with the fodder in the current state of this market now we talked about the market a little bit. We're going to talk about it a little bit more specifically with the PTG cards. But first, what I want to look at is a part of yesterday's content that EA dropped via objectives is the week two of the World Cup swaps, which was a fat W because we now have 26 tokens 26 swap tokens are now available and if you want to see a tracker i'll link this tracker down below in the description of the video so that you can see where each and every single one of these trackers are at or these cards are at but there are now 26 tokens that are available to uh, get in the game which is nice right especially since we had so many drops right away and then they gave us four on friday which we were a little bit disappointed with now we have the ability to get up to 26 and technically what that means is all but just of a few of the swap rewards are attainable now, uh, which is actually a big dub. You can even right now, if you have all your tokens, you can get up to 25 and get that FIFA World Cup Path to Glory. Or sorry, that's the hero player pick. The World Cup hero player pick had 25 tokens. If you grinded all of them right now, uh, there's even one extra. You could get this player pick. But of course, the big pack that like so many people are excited about is this one. The 84 times 20 times 3 or the 84 times 60. Now, I have not opened any of these yet. I'm sure we'll get to opening some soon. I'm still working through getting my tokens. This is one of the things that I'm going to be opening. But people are going to start to get this. They're going to start to open this pack because the tokens are going to be you know, collected over the next day or two as we get further into the week. And fodder is pretty expensive, so this pack, for a lot of people right now, especially having Pat the Glories still in packs, and especially having the World Cup Heroes in packs at the same time, which EA extended those items in packs, we'll talk about that in a second, um, I think a lot of people are going to open those 84 times 20 times threes and you know maybe maybe they'll open one maybe they'll save the other two I, I like that there's three in there right that's the draw to this pack in the first place but just the fact that ea dropped those objectives that we can go out and grind is so nice because that gives a little bit more grindability to the menus if you were you know way ahead you know now that, that maybe even if you weren't ahead if you were like me where you just didn't have a ton of motivation to do swaps because there weren't that many tokens out or you know i don't know whatever struggling with motivation whatever now that kind of motivation helps that you know you can attain that pack and that it's there and anytime you get the tokens you can go and claim it and get it so i think that helps a bit of the menu grind uh so again i'll put that link down below in the description so you can check that out but i think that over this next weekend and even with the max 89 hero pack coming today i still think that that sbc could be a little bit overvalued just because ea know that a lot of people have the potential to get fodder from that big pack. And then the 80 plus double upgrade that they dropped, guys, I think this is a solid SBC. And again, you could say, and this is how this has helped me out, right? I did maybe like, I don't know, five to seven of these yesterday, picked up a couple of walkouts, a couple other 84s, 85s from this. It's not a bad value SBC for an upgrade pack because it gives you two players, right? And you only need nine, not you need nine golds, eight non-rares, one rare. So you know, it's really not that bad a value for an 80 plus double. You can pack the World Cup heroes out of this. It's a that's a W. Um, and, and, you know, maybe build a few of these to save for the next upcoming promo and all the craziness that we have to come. Just like the, the previous weeks, it's only available uh, for another day, 15 hours. So it's only available until Wednesday, which is a bit of a bummer. But, you know, I think there'll be something that'll be pretty good to stack up on 
and to get into do and save for the next week's promo or just to try to get some fodder right now to craft that hero pack or any other SBCs that you're working on. Now, speaking of stuff that is in packs, once again, EA did something sneaky yesterday and they even tweeted about it right after we found out first on the stream. We loaded in and we saw this timer on the bottom changed. These cards are now in packs through Weekend League Rewards into Thursday at 6 p.m. content. They were originally going to go away at Wednesday, 6 p.m. content, but EA changed the timer. Then they went out and they tweeted and said, hey, guys, uh, we are going to keep these cards, um, you know, in packs for another 24 hours. Uh, of course, people in the comments are not very happy. You guys are so inconsistent. This is the worst World Cup content we've seen from you guys. I can't lie. So that's how people feel on FIFA right now. I completely understand. And I see a lot of that myself. Uh, but yeah, so is that going to affect these Path to Glory cards, of course, is the question. Well, honestly, the biggest thing is these guys are going to be impacts for rewards now, right? And that's the biggest draw, which actually is nice. If you think about you're going to play Division Rivals this week, you still have a chance at packing these cards, whereas before four you wouldn't have had the chance so that's a w now i'm going to talk about a lot of these ptg cards in a second but is this change going to make these cards crash not really right there these cards are still going to be very rare they're not going to have a lot of supply really what is going to make these cards move and what we've seen already after yesterday's kind of the first full day of games what makes these cards move is what should make them move the games right the world cup games the, the nations that are playing and the potential upgrade path that all of these players are on based off of how their nation and their country plays, right? So I want to talk about with trading with some PTG cards because honestly, in this state of the market, these cards are the ones that I would be the most comfortable trading with. And it's hard trading with these. It is. It's very tough and it's risky. But if you time it right and you learn some of the fluctuations and trends, you can make a lot of coins, whether you invest in these, learning when to sell the best time. We saw yesterday with the Kyle Walker card and the Jack Grealish, some new trends, right, that are similar to Road to the Knockouts that are very, very good to trade with. So I want to talk through those. Let's get into it right now. First, I want to look at this Kuti Romero card because Argentina play early today. And I want to talk about this first because yesterday with Kyle Walker, we saw a trend, right? And I even participated in this trend and sold a little bit too uh, late. You can see Kyle Walker about an hour or so, actually it was about three hours before game time. He was up here at 698, basically 700K in the early morning hours. They played the earliest game yesterday. He was down at about 780. So he dropped from like 700K down about honestly 20,000 coins, 677 as people were selling the card pre-game in the hype, right? So the lesson to learn here is Sell the card, not just right before the game, but sell the card like four or five, six hours before the game. So if you're watching this video, you know, honestly, with how much this Kuti Romero card is up, Argentina play first thing today, right? 5 a.m. Eastern time, going to be up early, right? He was 220 earlier. This is a brand new high price for this card, 239K. If you bought Kuti Romero, you know, on Saturday or something for like 140K, and you're like, Nate, I'm going to ride this thing till the end because he could absolutely go higher than this towards the end, right? If Argentina keep winning and you want to bank on that, then sure, you keep holding. But if you're in this for the quick flip, I mean, guys, this is like one of the best quick flip opportunities ever. Up 100,000 coins almost in four days. That is unbelievable on a, on a card that, that is this cheap, right? So if you have Kuti Romero and you're just in it for the quick flip or if you want to get coins before Black Friday, this price right here at 240 I mean, he could go a little bit higher, right? Because every single time I look at these cards and think, nah, man, that can't, that can't go that much higher, right? Well, this right here seems like a pretty good price for me to sell, but that is an insane, insane price in such a big increase in a short amount of time. That to me, after seeing Kuti Romero go up um, another 50K yesterday, to me is like, all right, that's a card that I'd be interested in selling, but I would get it out at least a while before the game starts today because the thing that we learned yesterday is these cards will drop a little bit as they head into game time, like we saw with Kyle Walker. Now, Kyle Walker went back up to 700,000 coins when England scored those two goals early in the game yesterday. Even though they were heavy favorites, his card price still went up as people were hyped for the card thinking, oh my goodness, he's getting closer to the upgrade and that sort of thing. 
So that could be if you think Argentina is going to score first today, maybe this would work a little bit better with Gomez because he's a more rare card. But, you know, maybe you don't sell in the, a couple hours before the game. You wait until they score if you want to risk it and then sell there. But then after the game, this is another trend that I want to talk about. Kyle Walker after the game went from 700K down to 660. And it probably timed out pretty well, too, that that time frame was like their game was ending a couple hours uh, before content. So Kyle Walker went from 700 all the way down to 650 and look where he is now all the way back to 700,000 coins because they won the game. They're progressing and getting closer towards the upgrade. That's the next trend I want to show you. It's even more drastic with Grealish, right? This is absolutely a way that you can trade with these cards today, every single day throughout this week on this game because they're so hyped for the upgrades. If the team of the card wins, right? England won yesterday. Grealish, I got to show you this graph, right? Because Grealish is 180,000 coins right now. Absolutely nuts, right? 183K. Yesterday, Grealish pregame was 143. People sold him down before the game to 130. England scored. Uh, and then he kind of actually like England scored in here and he went down and stayed around 130 to 140 after the game. And then of course, shot up. As you can see now, he's 180,000 coins. Since he is getting closer to that upgrade, and it seems almost guaranteed now since they're on three points, right? Especially since they won the first game. They were expected to win the group anyways or be in uh, advancing from the group. This card continues to rise. Same thing with Kyle Walker. Uh, these cards usually drop post-game for like an hour or so. And if the drop is big enough, it is absolutely something you can look into to trade with. So like example again today, let's say with our game between Argentina and Saudi Arabia, right? Let's say that Papu Gomez drops off post game. He goes up, he goes down. You know, that's a very rare card and a very popular card. Same thing with Kuti Romero. You're going to have an opportunity to maybe buy those guys in a dip after the game, an hour or two hours afterwards, and then sell them later on in the future, maybe in a day or so after uh, people go out and try that card or they buy it and invest it again because they're like, oh my goodness, they're this much closer to getting the upgrade. So that's a big trend that we saw with those cards right there. Now, of course, the flip side of the coin, a team does not perform as well as you would have liked them to, like USA, right? USA was winning, this Pulisic card went up, we were all excited, right? Went up to 100,000 coins, actually. It shows 94, but he was 100K, and he was dropping all the way down. Now, he just reached a low about three hours ago at 82K, and he's now rising up to about 87,000 coins as people still believe that USA will get out of the group. You know, it's going to be tight. So that's a scenario that you're really gambling in. I like gambling with the cards like Grealish, or I even picked myself up a Kyle Walker. I got really, really lucky on a snipe, but I picked myself up a Kyle Walker at uh, 600,000 coins flat when he was about 660 on the market right before content. I got a lucky snipe there. So I'm holding this Kyle Walker card because I know that right now it's looking very good for England. And this card's probably just going to continue to trend up, even though we could have a little bit of supply on the market today. I think these cards will do very, very well. Again, the cards that we want to be watching the closest today for quick flip trading and this sort of stuff would be Argentina cards, would be the Denmark cards. And of course, Mexico versus Poland today. Milik versus Lozano in terms of the live cards. That's going to be a very interesting game to watch. And then you have to watch Griezmann and, and Kunku today for France-Australia because those, of course, are very, very favored cards. Uh, but again, with like we talked about yesterday, there weren't any really crazy results from yesterday's games. It kind of went all according to planned. But if there's any upsets today or even if a underdog team scores first, right, there's going to be potential for these cards to move on the market. I would especially watch it during the Mexico-Poland game. Um, and even if, if Saudi Arabia were to score first on Argentina or if Australia were to put one in the back of the net before France, then you would see a lot of movement on the market and that would create great, incredible opportunities to trade with these cards. So I know that was a lot of conversation about those live PTG cards, but that's honestly where I would be trading the most right now. If you want to risk it, if you want to trade, I bought a, four, a couple of four lines yesterday. Um, I bought some Reese James under, under 80,000 coins and sold those in a little Monday market rise. But these four lines right now are not going up that much. And so I might just take the cash on this and try to break even out of this at a tax loss if he's still around like 760K. Um, and then, you know, just maybe look back to these PTGs because these cards, since they're alive, move so much on this game. But there should be some more hype today because I really do think the World Cup Hero Pack is going to drop on the game today. Uh, and I think it's craftable with the 80 plus upgrades. I think there's a lot more grind in objectives now with the tokens that are out. And there are a lot of opportunities for EA 
to give us some good content now and for there to be movement on the game. Last thing I will say really, really quick is Tuesdays, I know we already had the 86 plus double upgrade yesterday for the uh, team of the weeks. We have an 81 plus player pick that is player pack that is added to the code and a 583 plus. This sounds like a one time non repeatable SBC. That's like a nice fodder stock as well. So I don't know how much that's going to cost. Um, but that sounds like something that would be very interesting to do that a lot of people would have uh, desires to complete if it was dropped on SBC as well. So watch those two pack codes maybe coming out today, maybe tomorrow, who knows. But that will be a pack that a lot of people would want to have as well. As again, we get closer and closer to the Black Friday promo, which we're probably going to talk a lot about tomorrow because I think on a Wednesday, we might see a loading screen. Maybe today. There's a possibility for a loading screen today if they want to drop it early for pre-Black Friday. Uh, just watch out for that because that, I think, would be the next thing that would kickstart a little bit of selling again on the market. But that hero pack today should make some things move. So if you're excited for that pack today, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Best of luck if any of your nations are playing in the World Cup today, and I'll see you guys in the stream. Link in the description, of course, cheeky plug. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.